In this matrix, I can see that each row has a unique shape that repeats itself three times in each element. In the first row, we are made up of L shapes. In the second row, it's made up of these shapes. And in the third row, it's made up of upside down L shapes. The other thing I notice is that spacing plays an important part in the logic of this matrix. If we take a look at this center diagonal, we can see that element one is evenly spaced apart. We can see that element two is evenly spaced apart. And then we can assume reasonably that element three excuse me, element nine, our missing element, is also evenly spaced apart. Let's take a second to visualize that. One, five, nine, we need two, six, seven. And then three, four, eight is how we would arrange our, our one, five, nine diagonal setup. So we can see uh, more clearly this pattern that our 159 diagonal, all of these shapes are evenly spaced apart. In our second diagonal, we can see that the rightmost shape is spaced the furthest away from the rest. And then in our third diagonal, we can see that the leftmost shape is spaced furthest away from the rest. So with all of this logic in mind, we can eliminate answer choices C and E for not being evenly spaced out. We can eliminate answer choice A and B for not following the orientation pattern of all of these shapes for being this left to right downward diagonal instead of horizontal and right to left. Um, and looking between answer choice D and F, it can't be F because these are all evenly spaced out, but they are very far apart. All of them are evenly spaced very far apart from each other. We're looking at answer choice D as our correct answer.